everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Carol's Daily Sauce. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and share the video out. If you hear any drums in the background, it's the school. I think all they do on Tuesdays and Thursdays is play drums. It's an African school, so um, I think Tuesdays and Thursdays is their music day. And we hear singing, beating on congas, drums, um, chanting, rah rah you, you name it, they're doing it. But anyway, I just seen a video of Strong Mommy Chrissy addressing some of the questions that some of us reactors may have about how many baby daddies she has. And I use that term lightly because I don't refer to children's father as their baby daddies. But anyway, she wants to educate us. As Chrissy always says, if you have a question, if you have a concern, if it hasn't come out of her mouth, nine times out of 10, there is no truth in it. I can just tell you this, I've done a few videos on her, reaction videos, and in doing my reaction videos on her, in the beginning, I believe the very first reaction video that I did on her was when her younger children's father left the one that she refers to as oh buddy cuz and I pictured her I, I, I saw her on the video cutting up her husband's belongings it infused an anger in me because she was cutting up someone else's property whether they were knockoffs or not because I believe I made mention of them being knockoffs or whatever but I'm going to tell you, from that video to this video right now, I look at Strong Mommy Chrissy from a whole different set of lenses. Now, I will tell you, out of all of the infamous three, it appears to me that Strong Mommy Chrissy is the one who seems to have her head twisted on a little bit better. In this particular video, she was indicating how she does not allow the number of her baby daddies to define her nor her children. For that, I have to applaud her because whether you have six or 12 baby daddies, the most important person without a doubt or per sons is the children, period. She also went on to say that a lot of times people tend to think that she's either a hoe or that she was promiscuous or all kinds of other names that we could call her. Like I said before in a video in the past that she was trying to find love in all the wrong places. So for her to come out and say this all stemmed as a result of trying to find love in all the wrong places. She indicated that she was in a relationship with all of their fathers, all of their fathers. She was in a relationship and she didn't plan on having nine children. Now, I have to say this, if you didn't plan on having nine children, as I've said several times before, we have to put out there, she does have a set of twins if you didn't plan on having nine children and you know how to make a baby and how not to make a baby, which is what she says later on in the video, then I don't think it's right for her to say that she didn't plan on having them. But then let's just go ahead and go through with it. So she had a relationship with all of the fathers. She said that other t people tend to think that they know what's going on in her life and they don't technically. She only has six fathers, six babies, daddies, and no, she's not proud of it, but it's something that she's not going to hide behind either. No, she is not glamorizing it, but it's something that she chooses not to hide over. She says that she feels that people want her to feel ashamed and she can't go back and take back her actions. She can't take back her actions, but going forward, and this is just my little P 
peace on it, she can prevent it from happening. Her thoughts about men now are extremely different from what they were in the past. That's because she's gotten older. And she admitted that she was one of those type of women who thought that she could change somebody. I've said that in my videos too. I'm not just doing the reaction videos because I want to hate on her. If you look at my reaction videos, you can see that. In every reaction video, my thought, and I verbalize it, has always been she's trying to change somebody. She's thinking that she could keep someone. And she came out with all this in the video. Chrissy said that she doesn't make excuses, but she's here. Okay, and that's when she went on to say that she knows how to make a baby and how not to. With that being said, the hope is because she does have 10 that she won't make any more. But if she does, I don't have to take care of them, just like I always said. All of her children, for some reason, she feels is special, and they are. Every last person in this world, every last person who is born has a purpose. She says for all she knows and for all we know, she could be raising the next president or the next neurosurgeon who could be saving someone's life. And she really could. And it's really, really reputable, in my opinion, for her to look at her children like that. I mean, if she were sitting around saying, I got this old dumb son, he probably going to be a jack in the box worker. I mean, we'd be looking at her saying this one right here is on crack. But for her to think highly of her children and to say, yes, I could be raising a president or a neurosurgeon. It speaks volumes for her. She indicated in the video that what she's going to do is to continue to focus on the fact that her children are here, that they are here now. And what she's going to do is continue to take care of them. And I said, period, with the T on it, period, take care of your children. Because the reality is our children didn't ask to be here. And if they didn't ask to come here while they're here, they should be taken care of. Whatever it is you have to do, however you have to do it, you should be willing to do it because you brought them into the world. <clears throat> Chrissy said that at the time when she got pregnant years ago, she wasn't thinking about whether or not her fathers or the fathers of the children would be around. She was only more concerned about the fact that the babies would be here, that, you know, there's movement in her body, that she has this person with inside her. So her importance wasn't the fathers and whether or not they would be in the child's life. That's a problem. And the reason that's a problem for me is because I come from the old school where you have baby, I'm sorry, you have mama, you have daddy, and you have baby, all children. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if you are a president or a neurosurgeon of a single pres of a single parent. If you are absolutely positively without a doubt, that is wonderful. But all children need two parents. I know people are going to come for me. Statistics do say that. Does it make the child or children be any least successful? successful? No, but it is known that children go through a lot of emotional problems, a lot of bullying, a lot of, a lot of differences, a lot of different things that kind of take place as a result of them only being raised by a single parent. And then sometimes children can have a form of jealousy. I know when I was a young girl and I was coming up my mother was raising myself and my siblings. And when I would see a young girl and her mother and her father say in the grocery store, yeah, I wanted that. You want that. I mean, for someone to say, I don't care because my mother or my daddy was enough. Well, that's good because guess what? Parents whether it be a mother or a father, depending on the gender. And I'm speaking of the gender in which, not necessarily they associate with, but the gender in which they were born with. Because I think that, and this is just my thought, I think that 
when you are born, you get the DNA from a woman, you get the DNA from a male, uh, you know, from a male, from the male, you, you get that manly stance about you. You get that femininity from a woman. That's just my opinion. People may have other ones and you're entitled to that. Okay. So I know I'm going to get some comments for that. Who knows? I may turn the comments off on this video. I don't know. It depends, but a child that is raised without their father, a child that is raised without their mother, that child that's raised without their father lacks the femininity that a mother can give. The son that is raised without that father, excuse me, father lacks at times the masculine masculinity a male can give unless there is another male figure in his life. I don't give a rat's petunia what anybody says about a mother raising children because I did it on my own. I raised a daughter and two sons and guess what? I did horribly when it came to being a male because I'm not a male, I'm a female. So I can't teach a young man how to be a young man, period. I can't do it. I can read in books how to be a single parent raising a son, but there are some things that are, you're not going to be able to do. You're just not gonna be able to do. And anybody that thinks differently, in my opinion, and I'm giving that because once again, this is Carol's Daily Sauce. You can either come here, listen to it, we can agree to not to agree, however you want to do it. But this is my opinion and I am going to state it. I have so, so many people coming in my comments saying the most wackiest, craziest thing. You can't give your, yes, I can give my opinion. Especially, you know, you can give yours. You can come to my page and give your opinion. You most definitely can. But you can't be disrespectful. You can't be running through my comments acting a donkey because somebody doesn't agree with something that you say. You can't do that. Not here. We don't do that here at Carol's Daily Sauce. So you can agree to disagree, but that's as far as it goes. When you start cursing, talking, you know, out the side of your neck, because a lot of y'all come here doing that, you won't get very, very far because we're not going to do the back and forth here. I'm too old for that. Too old, too mature, and too classy. I don't have time for it. So the bottom line is we as single parents, a lot of us that have raised children, boys and girls, female mothers, because I can only speak for a mother as a single parent because I was a mother as a single parent. I look like a fool being a female talking about, I know what he went through. I know exactly what you went through. No, I don't. I don't know. Anyway, Chrissy just went on to say that she focuses merely on the fact that her children are here and that she's going to continue to do the very best that she can for them. Um, and that she's going to continue doing the very best for them. And that the babies are here now. You know, they're here now. Some of them are not babies. I don't know. Mines are 30, 27, 22, and 20. And I still say my babies. But that's just the way that I refer to mines. She even gave us a little sneak peek indicating that she thought about having abortions on more than one occasion. But she didn't feel like that was right for her personally. I am not going to speak on abortion other than to say that I've never done it. And I'm going to leave it as that. And I believe that when you speak of abortion, it's an individual preference. Some people may want to do it. Some people may not. Some people may be against it. We're not going to make this reaction video about abortion. 
But Chrissy also indicated that she never considered being a single parent, considered being a single parent. And she said that some of you guys may, or some of us may look at her and think that she has deep rooted issues. And she said she probably does. But she also feels that some people were put on this earth to have multiple children. And there were some who shouldn't have even been birthed themselves. And I'm telling you, when she said that, I went, oh, Jesus, the sad thing about it is that I really, really, really agree with that. So now she goes on to also discuss the relationship that her children have with their parents, with their fathers, with their individual fathers. She noted that Cash, Cash, Cash's father is the one that everyone wants to dothe on. But Chrissy mentioned that all of their fathers pay child support with the exception of the last three, the one she has with her husband, her now husband, none of the fathers would she say would get the father of the year award. She had to fight with some fathers to get child support. She had to put some of them in the system. There's one particular father that she ended up having to take off because their relationship was just good to where he didn't have to be put on the system. He knew his child needed diapers, he brung the diapers. He knew his child needed milk, he brung the milk. So these children do have a relationship with their father. Some of them fathers, some of them get to see their fathers more than others. I believe Kai gets to see, I don't know, Kai is a little girl I believe. I can't remember. Her kids have the most beautiful names, but I'm assuming Kai is a little girl and that child gets to see their father more because they live close to that child's father. Chrissy said that she is an advocate for her children and she wants her children to have a relationship with their fathers. She wants her children to have a relationship with her fathers because her relationship with her father was toxic. And she had to learn that for herself. As a result, she does not talk bad about her children's fathers. And when I heard that, I was like, you know what? That's great. She said that she wants her children to be able to come up with their own ideas or their own thoughts about their children. And that's their fathers. And that's what I did with my children's father. I didn't say anything bad about him. It was an older lady in church told me, she said, never speak on him negatively to your children. She said, allow them to grow up and find out who he is. And I did. So much so that at one time in my life, I sent all three of them, my daughter and my two sons, to Virginia to live with him for a couple of months. And I never miss my children so much. I was like, okay, this is going to be a time for me to heal and to get through the things that I'm going through, but I never missed my children so much. But my children got to know who their father was. They got to know exactly who he was. Chrissy said that co-parenting is hard because you have to deal with different personalities. The only one that she's not co-parenting with, obviously, is her current husband because she can't make a man be a man nor make a man be a dad. She said that she was forced to put a lot of them, as I said, on child support because she got tired of begging. She got tired of going through the back and forth of, no, you didn't give me no money. Yes, you did give me money. Didn't, okay, you're going to drop some diapers off of the child care, and they never would. But she says that she would never view her children as damaged goods, nor a statistic, even though they may qualify to be a statistic. She's not going to qualify them or lump them in that coal. Her job and her responsibility is to take care of them the very best that she can. And then this part right here of the video really, really resonated with me. And she said, a lot of people who do videos on her tend to think 
that she woke up one day just saying, I'm going to be a single parent. She said there are a lot of single parents out here and nobody, nobody wakes up saying, oh, I'd love to be a single parent today. She says that as a single parent, you don't get a mental break. No one is there to take care of you. And that's very hard. And that they did not ask to be in that position. Nobody ideally wants to be a single mom. Quote, unquote, strong mommy Christy. And she says that very sarcastically. She also indicated that she didn't feel the single moms get enough credit, especially from black women. Because we as black women like to blame her and others, single mothers, about the relationships ending. This part right here, I do want to talk about a little further. So I've been there. I've had ended relationships. I've had an ended marriage. I've also raised my children by myself. My problem is this. If you're married to someone, if you're in a relationship with someone and you have a baby, y'all break up. You get in a relationship with someone else. You get pregnant. Y'all have a baby. You break up. You're in a relationship with another person. Y'all have a set of twins. You break up. Now you have twins as well as the other children to raise. So my issue is this. Whether we as black women know how or why a relationship broke up, my question is, why is it that we don't learn from being in multiple relationships not to keep having children by multiple men? If you had two children by two different men and those relationships didn't work, Why would you get yourself then in another relationship, get pregnant and have another baby and be raising the child by yourself again? And now you have an army of children who don't have their fathers in their lives. See, it's the problem for me is the what word am I trying to say? I got a brain freeze, not a freeze. I don't want to say the other word. I got a brain blank. Oh my gosh, what is the word I'm trying to say? Pattern. A pattern. You know, why not get into a relationship with someone? You've got all those children already. Why not get into a relationship with someone and get to know the person a little better before you have children with them? From what I can understand, oh, buddy, cuz or her husband, and a lot of people tell me that that's not even her husband. That's her, I guess, common law or who she refers to as her husband. He already had children. He already had a child. So it wasn't like he didn't have children. And then he impregnates her. She has three sons by him, and then he walks away. Y'all, we got to do better. I believe we as black women don't give single black women credit, but I know a lot of black women who were in a relationship, got pregnant and had one child and never had another one again, never married and never had another one again. We've got to be smarter. Chrissy is 29 years old, about to be 30 years old. You mean to tell me you still looking for love and all the wrong, uh, in all the wrong places. She said she wasn't in the video. She said that she wasn't. She said in the past she was looking for love in all the wrong places. But yet and still, we've got Onyx, we've got Cash, and the other one. Last three. 
I don't know. Said that a lot of people are saying that she picks the wrong person and, you know, we're pointing the finger at her and pointing the finger at other single parents and no matter what we do, she's speaking of single parents, a lot of the other black women tend to think that we run them off, you know, but that they could be cooking, cleaning, and the men still leave. She says, some of the men come to them broken. Well, if a man comes to you broken, you should know it quickly. A broken man will reveal his brokenness quick. You just have to be willing to see it. A broken man's brokenness can be revealed very, very quickly. I know it does with me, and it has with me. Uh, she said that she had to acknowledge that some of the men that she had been with were, were just damaged and broken, and that she is still learning. She's still figuring out life. She can see where she messed up. And right now, instead of focusing on where she messed up, she wants to focus on being the best mother moving forward. I hope, in fact, that is the case. As I said, I look at Strong Mommy Chrissy from a whole different perspective. I really, really do, based on what I did in the beginning when I first started doing reaction videos on her. However, the part I do have a problem with is that she doesn't get enough credit and that single parent black women don't get enough credit, especially from black women, like they are to blame for their relationships. And I don't think it's so much that they are to blame for the relationships ending, but I think it's more that people look at the pattern. If you have one child by a man and he don't seem to be acting right, or if you have two by him, why break up with him, give with another one and have two more? That's all I'm saying. If you're struggling to take care of the ones that you already have, if you're struggling to get child support from the ones that you already have, why would you have more to add more struggle? Not to say that children are a mistake because no children are a mistake. I completely understand what she's saying about children being a blessing because they most definitely are. However, sooner rather than later, we have to get to a point to where we aren't just having babies to fulfill a part within us that can only be made whole with having babies. I think a lot of times when women have a plethora, a, a whole gang of babies, and they're not married, I personally think that they're, yes, looking for love in all the wrong places, but they're also looking to fulfill or fill a void that only a baby can, um, only a baby can fix because babies are innocent. Babies are sweet. You give a baby a bath, a baby smells, smells good. A baby needs you. A baby can't do anything for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes some women have to have a need to be needed. With that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to be reminded of all of the videos I upload and I wish you all a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.